up everybody photoshop just released version 25 and that means that there was a latest version photoshop 2024 that is now available for everybody to use now this is commercial this is out there already and i'm going to show you how to download it how to install it and also how to use some of the features that is now available for everybody to use now let me show you how to get it so guys on my pc i have photoshop cc 2018 installed but we need to update it to the latest photoshop for 2014 if you have creative cloud app i want you to click on it and then i'm going to show you how to do it and so once you click on it i want to let's get rid of all these stuff on the screen now on the tab above click on apps and on your left side you see updates click on it on your right side you see about three or four apps over there click on photoshop and click on continue to update it now the file is quite huge this might take some time i want you to just be patient a little bit it's going to install everything all right so guys once it's done just click on open now also i want to say this the photoshop 2024 comes with certain requirements you need to have a hard disk that is over 8 gig and above and you always you need to have a very good graphics processor as well without that you're going to struggle to actually use this particular version of photoshop also the interface comes like this is very new and very interactive i'm going to drag a picture in here and i'm going to try and use the generative field i'm going to type in there as well so guys this is the options it helps you to be able to use the contextual tax bar to be able to use the generative field first select and then you can type in the space there and then let's say let's agree to it and then let's type in the um, what are we going to type just a normal Asian lady with um an umbrella something like that right and then once you are done typing guys you just click on enter or you can click on generate and then let's watch it do its thing so now it's done on the right side we have three options that it gives us we can choose it and you can also realize that it also creates it on a different layer for us we can mute the layer and then we can also unmute it back now we can also type there again and create additional options again that is what we can do with uh, the generative fill now another thing guys really important i want us to hide this contextual taskbar we can go back to windows scroll down and find it there and then you can also click at the left side and drag it around Okay, now this is very interactive and this is very nice. Now, another cool stuff you can do with the generative fill is to expand the background. I'm going to click on the crop tool and then let's expand it up a little bit. Now, once you are done on the top tab, you can see generative exactly expand over there. Click on it and just click on generate. Don't type anything. And then it's going to generate for us. And once it's done generating, guys, you have the options as usual. You can drag the contextual taskbar away from the screen and then just look at your right side you have various options over there that you can choose from choose the one that suits your own taste and your artistic expression now in this version you're going to have access to a tool that was not in the previous version of photoshop that is the remove tool click on it and you can just brush around any image now you see i'm just going to duplicate it so that i can have the original and then the one you're about to create i'm going to mute the one underneath it and this way we're going to work on it just brush around it just brush around i can see it is a positive um you can just brush around it guys just brush make sure it covers the entire surface or place that you want to eradicate or clean once you are done with it guys just clean it well and once you are done with it just wait for it to load and then automatically it just cleans it nicely with some perfection now this is quite interesting so this is before and then that's also the after as well now another thing you can do with this new photoshop is the ability to remove the background you can see remove background just click on it and it will process the image and then just clean the background for you with just flawless cleaning it guys this is also another tool you can use in your photoshop um, 2024 this makes it quite simpler you don't need any third party to remove the background for you can actually do it in photoshop and the final thing i want to introduce you to is the ability to create backgrounds you can actually create backgrounds you can create gradient backgrounds you can create overlays you can create a lot of the textures and patterns and so i'm just going to type in the gradient um glowing gradient background and then let's just see whether it's going to give us some you know some nice cool stuff and you can see guys is doing that for us and so even if you are designing a flyer you're designing the banner you are designing an artwork whatever you are doing guys remember you can always create the background from scratch without actually even 
go into the gradient tool or anything so guys right now this is available on creative cloud app uh, photoshop adobe cc but then also once we have a version out there for everybody to use for free i will make a video and then i would also publish it for everybody to download it and use it if there's somebody out there and you already have this software kindly also comment down below and let's see how we can use it i love you guys see you in the next video please subscribe and like this video as well thank you